Matt from FR Jones, and today I'm going to show you how to unbox and assemble your Mountfield lawnmower. We've been selling Mountfield for a couple of years now, and although Mountfield is a project brand, there's no reason why it can't last you for years if the machine's looked after properly. So once you've unboxed your Mountfield, it's a good idea to keep your box. Don't throw it away. The reason being, if you do encounter any problems, you can then reuse the box for the courier to collect it. Also, if you buy a lawnmower from us, we give you this oil, so make sure that you look out for this. This is only available free with the machine when you buy it from us. Okay, so first we're going to build the grass box. So you want to take your frame and your lid. In your lid, you've got two, two holes that your lid goes into. And you press your loop down. And you want to screw your, your, your loop in place in there. And in there. So we have a washer and a screw for this. Now the plastic doesn't have a thread. You're cutting your own thread with the screw when you're pushing it in. So it will be a bit tight. You will need to apply a bit of pressure because you're, like I say, you're cutting the thread for the first time. So that's in there nice and tight. Next thing we're going to do, take your grass box fabric. Now there's an, in, an inside out way to do this. So make sure that the stitching at the bottom of it is, is on the inside like that. Okay. And what you'll do is you'll just clip this in. We've had uh, a few queries from customers who have bought this machine and when they've built their grass box they've forgotten to screw the frame into the lid and then we've uh, had complaints that the, the frame has dropped out. So it is important that those bits are screwed in. And that's your grass box. Okay, so now we're going to put the handles together. So we're going to open up our little, little bag of goodies here. And the first thing you want to do is put your, uh, your nuts into your hand wheels. And then just press in like so. Okay, get them to one side. And you've got slightly longer nuts and shorter uh, uh, bolts and slightly shorter bolts. It's the shorter bolts that you want at the lower part of the machine. On the lower part of the machine, on the inside you've got two holes and they're very close together and what that does is, depending on which one you select, adjusts the height of the handles. So we're going to go on a, a high setting and we'll go from the inside to the outside. Put washer on there. Tighten that up like so. Next thing we're going to do, put the top handles up. So we'll get. You want your cable to go over the front of this. You don't want to have your handles going through like this and it going behind because then if you collapse your handles and you fold it over, the cable is going to get tugged. So make sure that the cable is always going this side of the bar. On uh, most manufacturers of lawnmower, the hand wheels are designed to go on the outside. On, the, on this model, you can do it either way. So for users, it's comfortable, uh, to make it more comfortable for a user, it's easier to collapse the handles if the hand wheels are on the outside. Well, this one does have square cutouts, so if you wanted to, you could have it that way around. So that is entirely up to the user.
The next thing that you want to do before we put any oil or petrol in the machine is extend the recoil. Do that by holding the engine braking and pulling this up. You want to do that before you've got oil and petrol in because if you do it afterwards the machine will try and start and you don't want that to happen as you're trying to build it. And you'll just need a 10 mil spanner just to nip that, that nylon up. I'm using a ratchet spanner just because it's quicker, but most people have just got a normal 10 mil spanner. So the next thing we're going to do is fill it with oil. Another thing to mention uh, when building your machine is you'll end up with this bit. This is to be thrown away. When you're assembling it, check that this works. So when you pull your engine lever up, there should be an air gap when it's fully lifted. If there isn't a gap here, your machine will not start. And there's a very easy fix for this. It's on a separate video, which we can show you a link to. Okay, so when it comes to uh, filling your engine with oil, uh, obviously we've supplied you with the free oil, the dipstick on this one is quite low down under the machine. On the majority of engines, they have a dipstick coming up from the top that makes it easier to fill. As I said earlier, this is it's a budget machine, but the money you're saving, it's, it's a small price to pay. Now what we sell on our website are these little things. They're only a couple of quid, but my gosh, it does make life easier when it comes to putting oil in your lawnmower. So this is 0.6 of a litre, and an empty engine should take all of that. So we're going to pour it in slowly, because it is a pain when it overfills, and you're there mopping up oil. So when you've put all the oil in, Take your dipstick and like I say, because this is a thread on there, you just plunge like that to get your reading. And that's right on the max level. So that's perfect. Next thing we're going to do is put petrol in. So the petrol that we recommend that you use is super. You can use unleaded, but super ignites better. Your machine will start a lot easier. And that's what we always use here. It's what I use at home as well, it's what I use in my car. Super, it's more expensive, but it's just better petrol. It's cleaner and it ignites much better. On our website, we sell these as well. This is uh, the one we use in the workshop, so it's a bit tatty, but inside it's got a filter. This is really important because any debris that could get in there, this will stop it. Not only does it stop debris, it stops moisture as well. So if you've got a metal fuel can that you're using to store your fuel with at home, that can draw condensation in and the condensation goes to the bottom of the petrol. And when you're pouring it in, without a funnel, without a funnel or, or just a normal funnel, you won't see that water. But with this filter, this gauze, it catches the moisture and it stops it going into your lawnmower and that means that you're not going to have problems starting it. So we put that filter in and uh, we fill it up with petrol. So now we're ready to start our lawnmower. Just a couple of things we need to check before we, we do fire it up. Make sure that your, your spark plug cap is on, because sometimes they can get pulled off in transit. Check that your height adjust is working, and put it on the desired height that you want for your lawn. I've just attached this cable, I forgot to mention in the early video. That's just a little clip that pops on, tends the cable in place. And the next, you need to decide if you're going to mulch or whether you're collecting the grass. If you're mulching, you put your mulch plug in. That goes in and sits down like that. What that does, it stops the grass from going up into the grass box, it circulates the grass underneath the cutting deck, cutting it into small pieces and then depositing it back onto the grass to decompose and help the grass grow. As long as your petrol is nice and fresh to start the machine, hold your handle in. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. 
If you've got any questions, you can call us on 0408 676 3010, or if you'd like to email us, you can at inquiries at frjonesandson.co.uk. Thank you.